For this unboxing video review, we're going to take a look at DC Universe Classics. This is by Mattel, Hal Jordan versus Thal Sinestro. So this is the back of the packaging. This is the front of the packaging. We have the two figures and we have their constructs on the side. Before we take a look at the action figures and their constructs, let us first take a look at the most common item that they both share. It's going to be the power lanterns. So fear and will. So will side, green side, or lantern side. And this is the sinister side or fear side. But I think it is already overcome by Green Lantern because of the color of the handle. <laughs> so the, the base is also divided in color except for the handle. Green Lantern Hal Jordan out of the box. Really nice, really, really shiny. Okay, let us first do a quick 360 view of the action figure and we're going to discuss articulation points later. Okay, let's go to Sinestro. The master of fear, Sinestro. So, this is a 360 view of the figure. Hal Jordan would stand around the 6.25 inch mark while Sinestro would be just a tad bit higher than Hal Jordan so let's measure this guy up at 6.5 inches okay so how do they measure together so let's do a quick 360 view once again Okay, so let's check out the details and articulation points of Hal Jordan first. So let's take a look at the head unit, the head skull. So nicely painted eyes versus your traditional DC Universe classics wherein those eye parts would be just white paint. Okay, so as for articulation points, left right a little bit of upward gaze downward gaze let's move on to the body so we have that diaphragm cut for bends so not really much bending forward but bending backward and we have nicely painted um, parts that are hidden under those joints so let's take a look at the back so with this set i could really not find anything uh, that is not painted well okay so rotation of the waist full rotation of the arms the poses we have rotation of the biceps, single articulation on the elbows, and just rotation for the hands. But take a look at the shine on those hands. Those are very shiny gloves. And we have the ring finger. Okay. Moving towards the leg. So splits, forward kicks, backward kicks, it's going to be hindered by this piece. We have rotation of thigh, but it's not going to be located on this section, it's going to be on the lower part. Single pinned articulation point for the knee single pinned articulation part for the foot but 
against modern standards still this is a very nicely articulating action figure and between and with regards to the paint how shiny this action figure is really really nice okay so let's strike a pose for Hal Jordan So I already forgot how good DC Universe Classics action figures are. Okay, so let's go to Sinestro. With regards to Sinestro, the most obvious thing that I could point out immediately out of box is going to be the coloration of the shorts. Light blue against a faded blue. I really don't know if whether this is going to be a result of um, aging figure inside of packaging or it's just the way it was uh, manufactured before so really don't know but with regards to the details I'm discounting this section so let's take a look at the head sculpt details on the head oh, oh wow Okay, no complaints so left right looking up well this figure still stiff and I'm quite afraid to really lift that up I might break something <laughs> okay so let's move on to same like Hal Jordan we have that up crunch rotation of the whole arm Rotation of the biceps, single point of articulation for the elbow, rotation for the hands, and we have the ring hand. Oh, focus. Okay, there you go. So, T poses, rotation on the waist, splits forward kicks rotation on the thigh single bend of articulation for the knee and single articulation point for the foot With regards to details of course this is a very main action figure out of packaging so hasn't been played with except for this review okay so hands are really nice perfect as to skin tone it's the same as the head unit perfect really perfect well not really perfect of course i remembered this section oh muscle tone really defined on all of these dc universe classics action figures and with regards to proportion could not really fault DC Universe Classics with how action figures are proportioned but with regards to uh, McFarlane action figures their anatomy is really really off sometimes not, uh, not all of the figures are built the same let's take a look at the constructs of Hal Jordan or the constructs of Will okay so let's start with the saw so this is made of really hard plastic material and light accessories that come with really modern or up-to-date action figures shame on you gi joe classified series for making really soft plastic accessories okay oops next thing wow look at how solid that is the mace and the connection part to the hand and the last piece now that's straight out of the box and has remained perfect shape for X number of years. 
But just imagine if these were accessories made by G.I. Joe Classified Series. After 12 years, those accessories are going to be like bacon. So just a taste or a sample with one of the constructs with the Hal Jordan action figure. Of course, all of those constructs are going to attach on the ring hand side or the right side. Looks very, very good. So let's take a look at the constructs of fear. So let's take a look first at this axe. Oh, that's a really nice solid plastic. And you could see the mold for the hand. Next is going to be the maze. Wow. Okay. This set is really nicely done. Still nice solid material. And the last piece, the best piece. And that's nice solid plastic. And we have a little bit of gimmick. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. It's nice, really, really nice. And my two favorite constructs of fear on this and Nestro figure. Wow, take a look at that. Really, really nice. Oh, so really enjoying the details, articulation, and the accessories on these two action figures. So perfect. So if you like this review, like, comment, and subscribe to help me grow my channel. And see you on the next action figure or custom action figure review.